Welcome back to USV as we are almost set for kickoff. It'll be Alan East kicking two USV right to left on your screen. For USV, Jason Helton and Alex Sanders back to return. And for Alan East, it will be Braylon Kennedy doing the kicking. Again, Evan Skilleter and Darren Gilbert with you. And a pair of 10-win teams from a season ago opening the 2022 campaign. The lefty, Braylon Kennedy, ready to go. And we are underway as Kennedy kicks this one down to about the five yard line. It'll be Sanders returning to his right. Sanders wrapped up, falls just shy of the 20. Actually, they're gonna give him the 20 yard line, it looks like. Braylon Kimmett on the stop for the Mustangs. And USV will start from the 21 yard line, a team that loves to run the ball. In fact, their coach Dustin Price says their strengths are the offensive and defensive lines, a team that likes to control the line of scrimmage and likes to control the clock. Yeah, this is this is a big game for them, you know, first game of the year to control that line of scrimmage. That is a concern he had coming in. And Underwood will actually look to pass as he steps up and he's gonna be brought down, gets the pass away. It's caught by Jason Helton, but it looks like, yeah, they will give him two yards. So a play that looked dead ends up going for positive yardage. Yeah, what an athletic play by the young sophomore. Got out of the pocket, eluded a little bit of pressure, took a hit and still got the, the football out to Hilton for a complete completion. And the down marker fooled me. It is the first game for me as well. The down marker goes backward two yards. So it'll be second and 12 instead of second and eight. Loss of two on the pass. Helton back under center. It's Tommy Carl to the right side. Actually make it Alex Sanders. Carl was the up back. And Sanders gets nearly back to the original line of scrimmage. And that's it. Third and 10 coming up. Keaton Lehman on the stop. Along with Cade Wireman for the Mustangs. It's always interesting to see a passing situation for a team that likes to run the football. Saw him try to pass on first down, not much there. In fact, Delaney's got a lot of penetration. Yeah, this is gonna play big for the Rams, especially on their tackle positions, trying to protect that quarterback as much as possible. Brogan Paxson, Boston Colbertson, and Landon pulling up front for the Mustangs. Three down linemen, they're gonna pitch this out to the left side. This is Jason Heldon, he's wrapped up in the backfield and a loss on third down and a punting situation coming up for the Rams. Appeared to be Braylon Kimmett on the stop. Good job stringing it out for the Mustangs. Kimmett, a 5'10", 145-pound linebacker. He's a senior. And a big stop as Alex Sanders goes back to punt. Good snap. Sanders kicks this one end over end. It bounces at the 49. It'll be picked up by the Mustangs. Out to the left side goes Carson Klum. And Klum oh, hits bang down hard. Bounds. But the Mustangs will start in Rams territory for their first offensive possession led by Quarterback Jacob Hirschberger, a 5'11 senior. Big hit by the Rams there by Mason Thompson and Maddox Underwood. It'll be placed down right at the Rams 45 yard line. So the Mustangs a season ago, 10 and four, five and two in the NWC. Coached by Joel Billings. A bit undersized up front, Coach Billings said Need to play with good pad level, stay low, and use their speed to stay away from the size of USV. In the shotgun to start this game, Hirschberger. Hirschberger will hand this one off to the left side. That's Jack Hole, and he goes for a positive gain on first down. Looks like about five yards. Looked like he was tripped up right there. Alex Sanders on the stop for the Rams. They'll give him four, second down and six. Man in motion. A little quick pit, pit, pitch action there by Mustangs. And a helmet comes off. That was Joseph Hole with the carry. He's close to the line to gain. And it looks like 
maybe just short, waiting for an official call. It's either second and short or a first down. And it is a first down for the Mustangs. Look like Thompson on the stop along with Alex Sanders for the Rams. Now the Mustangs look to pass. Hirschberger looking deep. He's got a man, but just overthrows Joe Hole. Second and 10 coming up. Found Hole in the seam, but just couldn't connect. Underwood on the coverage. Yeah, this is a kid coming in. I know in the NWC as a quarterback, he's one of the top players coming in. It's interesting to see what he's going to be able to do with his legs tonight, too. Here's Hole on the carry, finds a hole, gets up the field, enough for the first down and more as he crosses the 30, excuse me, crosses the 20 yard line up to about the 19. And a nice run for the Mustangs results in their second first down of the game. Yeah, he got his shoulder square to the line of scrimmage and found that hole and just busted it loose. Drugged down by Thompson. Quickly back to the line of scrimmage, they'll keep it on the ground. Hole right up the middle this time, runs over a few tacklers. He's tough to bring down as he picks up eight on first down, second and two coming up. Make it nine, second and one. Tommy Carl on the stop along with Jason Hilton. Yeah, they like that left side right now. That's where he's attacking over that left guard and left tackle position. And why not? They'll give it to him going right and this time straight up the middle and a touchdown for the Mustangs. Nice little cut back right there, found the seam. Took it to the end zone. Six nothing, your score on a nine yard run from Jack Hole. And on comes Braylon Kennedy for the PAT. Eight forty two to go, first quarter. This is Hirschberger who will hold, gets the Snap down, kick is up, and it is good. 7 nothing. your score at USV Mustang Strike first. We'll be right back with more on WOSN after this. Season 18 of Sports Report starts this Friday night at 10 p.m. on WTLW. Join Patrick Kamler for a full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around. All season long, Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. We welcome you back to USV High School where Allen East kept the ball on the ground for the most part, yeah. running straight into the end zone, a 48-yard drive. Yeah, with the exception of the jet sweep and the the pass down the seam that went incomplete. It was uh, the holes or the whole brothers opportunities right there to convert for the Mustangs and seven to nothing right now. Kennedy boots this one in the air. A nice kick down to the one yard line. Sanders will return, patiently waiting for something to open up and nice return gets him out past the 20 yard line around the 22. Now USV will start actually a flag on the ground at the 30 yard line. Cade Wireman on the stop along with Jacob Pinks and for the a, blue and white. An illegal block below the waist. So this will be a tough penalty. It's USV wasn't able to get anything going on their first drive, going three and out. Yeah, it turned into a field position, didn't it, this, this first possession of the game. And a team like Allen East that can score and score quick, it's, it's field position is going to be huge tonight. So this drive after the penalty will start at, looks like right around the 10 yard line. You see the sun is directly in front of us. It's on the field making those white numbers kind of hard to see. So it looks like the 12 yard line, first and 10. Maddox Underwood, the sophomore quarterback under center, takes the snap, he'll give this to Sanders, looking for the edge, he finds it. Nice stiff arm, he's tripped up and goes out of bounds, but it looks like he's got enough for a first down, give him 12 yards on the carry, and a good start to this drive yeah, for the Rams. It sure was. That's a great call right there. Nice nice job there by uh, Alex getting the corner turn, but a better block there to get him free, I believe, was Jason Helton on the outside. Ball that's up a, that's to the 22. Posi that's a positive for the Rams right now. 8.22 to go first quarter. Both teams really keeping the ball on the ground. If they keep that up, this will be a pretty quick game. 
as Underwood stays under center. Wishbone formation. Back to the right side as Sanders cuts back inside. He finds a gap and another first down. Two in a row on the ground for Alex Sanders. Oh, what quick feet. Was going to try to pop it outside. Got his feet and his shoulders square. Cut it back up. Nice, nice run right there. You know, they lost two dandies last year and all mm -hmm. state performers. And, you know, Alex's brother, who's now at University of Finley and also uh, Jackson Rohr. So you're not going to replace those guys. But, you know, you know, Alex is going to give everything he's got out of that backfield position. And he's going to get a ton of carries this year. Sanders, the feature back so far in this wishbone formation. Helton back under center, hands us to the left side. This will be Helton, excuse me, as he's tackled. That's Underwood, the quarterback, but another nice pickup on first down. I'll tell you, he's one step away from breaking that thing, and I mean a long run. Looked like number three got him by the ankles, I believe, for Allen East. That was Hirschberger. Could have been a game or a touchdown saving tackle right there. And it's a six yard pickup, second down four coming up as USV, as we said, they like to control the clock and right now taking their time and why not? Well, 18 seconds on the play clock. And you said in pregame, you know, they do what you do best and run behind your, your big tackles that you have. And if you run the football, run the football and you're, you're seeing some success right now like by the black and red. This time Sanders looked to the right, then cut back inside. Picks up a few, but goes down just short of the first down marker. It'll be third and one for the Rams. Really good hands there by Alex, because that, that football just about popped out. And it got his composure underneath him and got that football tucked away and got as much as he could. Put him in a third and looks like less than one. Connor Scott runs the play in for the Rams. Nearing the six minute mark, halfway through the first quarter. Underwood, snap, this time they'll hand it to the right side and Alanis does a nice job gobbling up the carrier. That's Braylon Kimmett getting in the backfield to bring down Tommy Carl. Now a decision coming up for the Rams. Mr. Kimmett's all over the place right now here in the first quarter. Nice job shedding the block and stepping up and getting them shoulder pads into the thighs of the Ram ball carrier. Play clock at 20. And it looks like the Rams will line up to go for this. Fourth down and four. Mustangs. With a stop, get good field position for the second possession in a row. They run this to the right side. Sanders cuts in. He's got to get to the 45. I don't I think don't he know. got there. I don't know if he got there or not. Hirschberger on the stop along with Keaton Lehman and he for the Mustangs. It's just short. Will they measure this? They're, They're looking trying to at see it. where the nose of the football is, if it's on the line or not. And they will measure. It's going to be close. As they do, want to remind you that we're now accepting nominations for the John Reed Leadership Award. Nominate coaches who exemplify Christian character, humility, discipline, mentorship, leadership, commitment to others, and excellence on the field. Nominations can be made at WOSN.TV slash John Reed. And let's see here, referees. Working on getting those chains over. Not sure what the holdup is here. Here we go. Got to remember it's a first game for them too. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'll tell you what, this is a big decision here, a, a big moment here in this game. Well, for Alan both East, ball clubs. Absolutely, the Mustangs were able to keep the ball on the ground and run it very effectively. Let's see here. He said they had to get to the 45. The nose of the ball is super close. And I can't tell from here. Oh, boy. Referee's got a decision to Some, make. Somebody's going to be happy. Somebody's going to be unhappy. And a first down by less than an inch. As the decision pays off for the Rams, their drive continues with 5.04 to go 
in the first quarter. Does it get much closer That's than that? That's what I was just getting ready to say. How can you get much closer than that? The nose of the football touching and the, the 45-yard line. The chain line. didn't lie. Absolutely. Your referee crew, by the way, led by Luke Swavel, the head referee, Matthew Swavel, James Schegel, Megan Hostler, and Mark Shuck, the other referees starting the season off here at USV. This time a counter play as Sanders running to the left side, cuts back in. I'll tell you what, he does a nice job reading the defense and cutting back where he needs to go. That play designed to go well outside, and instead he picks up extra yards because he cuts in. Well, he's, he's really good with his feet, but what was more impressive was, you know, Maddox Underwood, the way he ran that play and showed the fake there and then the quick counter. Gain of eight brings up second and two. You know, both teams have athletes you know, on this football field tonight. takes a snap he looked to throw now he's forced out of the pocket throws over the middle it's caught by Sanders and another first down a nice job there by Maddox Underwood sure was kept his composure and found him big hit there by Hirschberger nice job there by Sanders catching the football So a first down coming up. Ball on the 40-yard line of the Mustangs. Now the sun becomes a factor for us broadcasters and writers alike. Jose right next to me from the Lima News. Be sure to check out his work all season long. Yeah, that year of experience Underwood's had under centers paying off. Last year, I'm not so sure he could have made that play. Sanders up the middle for a gain of three. Keaton Lehman on the stop for the Mustangs. How tough is it, Darren, on, on week one, night one, to get this many carries? Sanders were only in the first quarter, mm. but he has, I don't know, 10 to 15 carries under his belt already. Well, and we talked about the Heat's going to play a huge part tonight. It'd be interesting to see how many times the officials stop play just for water. Yeah, I think both of these guys are going to carry the load with the football, Mr. Hole and also Mr. Sanders. Underwood keeps this one. He's wrapped up right away. Brought down by, guess who? It's Mr. Braylon yeah, Kimmett. Oh, yeah, Mr. Kimmett's doing a real nice job from that outside linebacker position. Drops him for a loss of two yards to bring up third and nine. Nearing the two minute mark, this drive has lasted around seven minutes of game clock. Underwood back under center, takes a snap. This one's gonna be Sanders looking for the edge, cuts inside. He won't have enough for the first down, but makes the fourth down much more manageable. Hedrick on the stop along with Brogan Paxson. Brings up a fourth and five. Yeah, he took something and made something out of nothing right there. I mean, he, he was stuck in the backfield and his feet got him as much as he could right there. The Rams already on this drive converting on a fourth down. Can they go two for two? Line up in the wishbone. This time, left side. It's Jason Helton, and he gets close to the first down marker. And let's see here. Will we have another measurement? Nope, they're going to say he's short. And the Mustangs hold on fourth down this time and get the ball back. USV comes up empty on their second drive. Well, they come up empty, but you know what? They did a lot of positive things on that drive. They established themselves in the running game, and 
Now they just, they just have to build on that. They got to get the defense to settle in and get a stop here and get the football back. 108 to go, first quarter. Alanis offense has been on the sideline for about seven minutes of game time as Hirschberger comes back out, has hole to his left now as he shifts. Hirschberger keeps it on the ground, patiently waits for something to open up. Ultimately Good job gets there a by the Rams. Yard. Stepping into their gaps and making the stop. Looks like number 60 and number 52 for the Rams. Abraham Decker along with Kevin Smith on the stop. Now two backs in the backfield. Hole joined by Cade Wireman. Wireman will get the carry on the right side. Wireman keeps his feet churning as he picks up positive yardage. Officials didn't blow that one down, did he? Too quick. Give him about four on the carry. Third down, three coming up. Kevin Smith on the stop again for USV. They stay in the same formation. Left side of the USB line jumped, but not far enough to warrant a penalty. 10 seconds left in the first quarter. Mustang will run the play. They give it to Hole, and he's wrapped up uh, in the backfield. Oh, he got loose, didn't he? He did, but not loose enough as he gets maybe half a yard, a fourth down coming up, and we'll have it for you after the break. One quarter in the books in the 2022 season. It's Allen East 7, USB 0 on WOSN. Welcome back to USB High School for the start of the second quarter. It's fourth and two for the Mustangs of Allen East. They lead this game 7-0. Evan Skilleter and Darren Gilbert with you in a game that has primarily seen run after run after run, Darren. Yeah, it's it's two two football teams marrying one another right now, both going to try to establish a running game. USB did a real nice job, you know, putting Allen East in this fourth and two situation. Hirschberger stays on the ground, followed Jack Hole up the left side, and it's enough for the first down. So the Mustangs start the second quarter. With a fourth down conversion, they keep the drive alive. Yeah, Kevin Smith found his way to the backfield. Unfortunately, couldn't make the tackle. Good job by Hirschberger finding the sticks and converting. This time they pass out to the right side. That pass too low, and it was a forward pass. So an incompletion stops the clock and brings up a second down and 10. Pass intended for Bryce Avery of the Mustangs. Three wide receivers out to the right side for Hirschberger. Hole lined up behind him, motions to the right. Hirschberger looking deep this time. Going down the right side, ball up for grabs and a nice adjustment there by Joe Hole, who comes back, catches the pass and a big, big gain and a Mustang first down. Yeah, he never took his eye off the football. You know, Upper had the thing covered. Unfortunately, didn't see the football. 32-yard pass. First down, they keep it on the ground. This time, right side. Good-looking run. It's Jack Hole again. Excuse me, that one time, Joel Hole. And Joe picks up around 10 yards. Looks like Helton just a bit stop. short. Yeah, I think Helton saved the touchdown right there on that stop. Second down, one. This time, three wide receivers split out left. One down to the right, that's Bryce Avery. They'll look to pass, quick comeback route. It's complete to Keaton Lehman. Lehman wrapped up right away, but not before a first down. Yeah, trying to see who came in there and made the stop for, looks like Maddox Underwood, I believe, on the stop. First and goal from the six yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Hole, right side, brought down. And nice hold there by the USV defense. Excuse me, that was Cade Wireman on the carry for the Mustangs. Yeah, Drew Sanders stepped in that gap right there and brought him down, met him at the line of scrimmage. 
No gain. Second and goal, six yard line again. Pull off to the right side. Looking left and that one well out of reach of the intended target. That was Caleb Hop Hopkins, excuse me. And a third and six coming up. I'm trying to throw it to the pylon. Mustangs and spread. Two wide receivers either way. Hole to the right side, looking to pass once again. Rushed out of the pocket. Good job by the quarterback, Hirschberger. Oh. Almost intercepted, though, Is that as underway? Connor Scott knocked it down. Is that number five? Got to, can't see with the sun. I can't tell who that was. It's either number two, eight, or five. It's tough or, to tell or, from or up six. here. Or six. It could be. Either way, a nice play it was. by the defense. And now we're going to see an attempted field goal by Braylon Kennedy. This will be about a 25-yard attempt for the lefty Kennedy, trying to put the Mustangs on top 10 to 7. And you made a great point. That's a great stop by USV. That kick oh, looked like it was blocked. tipped, and it is no good. Nice job by USV. And I think it was Blaine Castle I, who gets in there so. and knocks that one away. Castle, a first team Northwest Ohio, an honorable mention all state last year as a defender. And got his big paw on that one, knocked it down. Good stop there for if you're a Rammy. And so now USV still down just 7 0, will take over from, I believe, the 20 yard line. You know, defensively, if you're USV, you got to be happy because you put Alan East in a situation of throwing the football. Three straight possessions right there at the six-yard line. The Rams moving the ball successfully on the ground on their last drive, but just not able to get over the hump, turning it over on downs. He'll go back to work. Underwood under center, hands us off the right side, Sanders. Sanders breaks a couple tackles, still on his feet. Whoa, and nice little carries juke. a tackler up to around the 40 yard line. Make it the 42 and a nice carry by Sanders. Sure was. Trey Hensley running down along with Cade Wireman. Big, big run there for the Rams. 21 yard pickup for the Rams. Up to the 41. Again, Rams back to work on that clock. Play clock down to 11, make it 10 by the time they break the huddle. Still in the wishbone. And they'll keep this one on the ground over the right side for a positive pickup on first down. Trying to see who that was that was pounding the football right there. It looked like number 22, Tommy Carl. Does that sound? Yeah, it is. The up back, Tommy Carl. Keeping Allen East defense honest right there. Picks up four, brings up second down and six. Hand off to the dive man right there. Pounding his way, getting four yards for the red and black. Connor Scott runs the play in this time for USV. They run this one to the left side. A lot of room right there, and it goes for a first down. That was Jason Helton with the carry. The 5'10 senior what gets the Rams a first down. What a kick out block by Blaine Castle right there, number 50. Just took the defender and turning to the outside and let Mr. Helton run off the backside of Castle for a big gain and a first down. Ball up to the 47 of the Mustangs. 8.20 to go in this first half. Back to the wishbone. Sanders, right side. Sanders finds some room. Nice job once again 
with his feet. Another vision. first down. Great vision. Trying to see who was on the stop here. Appeared to be number 16, Cade Wireman. And we've got a stoppage of play. It might be a gallon a hydration to... break. It might be a timeout. We'll try to figure it out during the break. We'll be right back. 7.57 to go. 7-0, Allen East on top. Welcome back as it was an Allen East timeout. So it's the first timeout taken of this half. USV back to work first down and 10 after a 17 yard pickup by Alex Sanders. This time they'll give it to Jason Helton and Helton picks up positive yardage and you can tell this USV offense starting to pick up some momentum and get things figured out. First hit by Trey Hensley, mopped up and brought down by Hirschberger and Wireman. It's a four yard pickup, second down, six coming up. Yeah, if you're trying to control the clock, partner, four yards on, on the first play, that's huge. It makes that second, third down play a little bit easier, more comfortable to call instead of third and long. Same formation, wide receiver split out to the right side. Underwood gets the snap, hands to the up back once again. That's Carl. Carl met right at the line of scrimmage. Might have lost a, a yard there, and indeed he does. So a third down and about eight yards coming up. Yeah, Boston Culbertson got in his gap and met him at the line of scrimmage. May have lost a yard on that, huh? Yeah, make it third and seven. 6.40 to play, second quarter. Four down territory for USV. They line up with a tight end on the left side. They'll run it to the right. Sanders looking for the edge. Sanders gets the edge. First down for the Rams as Alex Sanders goes around the outside. You know, he got the first down, but Mr. Helton had the block on the end to spring him free. Clock continues to tick, 6.20 to go. Alex is, Rams. Alex is getting the yards, but Mr. Helton deserves a lot of credit for that block right there to spring him. How big would this be for the home team to get a punch one in here? Play clock down to 10. They haven't even gotten the play in. We might see the first Rams timeout taken. Play clock down to five. They hustle to the line and they will take that timeout with 5.53 to go. Rams knocking on the door. That's why Alanis. he got them. That's why he got the timeouts. You can't take them home with you, as they say, and you can't carry them over the second half. And we step aside with 5.53 to go. First half. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Welcome back to USV following the Rams. First time out of this game. Both teams with two left. 5.53 to go. First and 10 for the Rams. Knocking on the door their first score of this game. Underwood takes the snap. Sanders looking up the right side and a nice tackle there by the Mustangs number eight. That's Joseph Hole. He filled the hole, didn't he? There you Stepped go. I was right waiting for that one. Big pop right there. Because if he don't get him, it's going to be a foot race. Picks up about half a yard. Second and a long nine coming up for the Rams. Yeah, that right side opened up from the right guard in the tackle position, and Sanders tried to get through there. Good job by Mr. Hole stepping up. Sanders and Carl in the backfield. It'll be Carl on the left side. Carl wrapped up by a host of tacklers. He's brought down at the line of scrimmage. In fact, he might have dropped a yard on that play. We'll, we'll see where the official 
mark is, and he is back to the original line of scrimmage, so a third and ten now. It looked like uh, Landon Poling and Mr. Hole again stepping up into the, filling the hole and bringing him down. Yeah, tell me this is not a carbon copy of what we just saw, the last possession from Allen East. Absolutely. Just flipped ends of the field. Back to that three-back set. Underwood. Hands to Sanders. Oh, he's Sanders. Got the corner. Some space, but a nice job by the Mustangs recovering. Sure as was. Keaton Lehman came in and made first contact and made enough time for the rest of his team to come clean things up. A one-yard pickup and a fourth and nine. Yeah, because you're not going to tackle him in the upper body. Great job there. Like you said, Keaton Lehman stepping up and getting him around the ankles, letting his teammates come in and clean up the play. So a fourth and nine coming up. We've seen USV stall after a couple nice drives to start this game. And turn the ball over on downs, trying to avoid that again here on fourth and nine. Play clock down to four. They might have to take another timeout. Nope. They run the play, pitches out to Sanders. He's going to look to pass. Alanis not fooled as that one goes through the back of the end zone on fourth and nine. And another turnover on downs. Yeah, tough break for the Rams. I'll tell you what, it was nice coverage there by Joe sure Hull. Was. Yeah, they he was not fooled, did not come up on that pitch. He stayed with this man and made that pass awfully tough. Yep. Yeah, and Sanders was in a spot where he had to throw the football. He was Pressure was bearing down on him right there. So now the Mustangs take over. Three and a half to play in the second quarter. Neither team has had many drives. In fact, I think this might be Alan East's third drive of the game. Yeah, let's see if they turn Mr. Hirschberger lo loose with his legs and his arm here. Hirschberger with two backs split either side of him. Two wide receivers split out to the right side. He will look to pass on first down. Little hitch and go as that one's up in the air and knocked down by the safety. That's Jason Helton in the defensive backfield knocking that one down nicely. Play took six seconds off the clock and a second and 10 coming up. Yeah, that's a heck of a defensive stop right there. Very athletic play. Now two wide receivers split either direction, hole to the right. Now a little pitch out to the right side. Oh, nice job there by Thompson, shedding the block on the outside, stepping up and bringing him down. So a play that goes. Drew Sanders also in on the stop. Blaine Castle. Goes for one yard, third and nine coming up. Mustangs taking their time. I don't want to give USB too much time left. 15 seconds on the play clock. Nice cut there by Hirschberger. And I'll tell you what, he looked like he was going to get down in the backfield. Nice cut, and he's got Alan East the first down. Yeah, he got it with his legs, didn't he? Because he was under pressure in the backfield. Now 2.40 on the clock, first down. Allen East with two timeouts left. Clock stopped as the chains got set. Now it starts as players look at their wristbands, get the play. And they'll keep this on the ground. Hole, right side. Jack Hole with a nice pickup on first down. He gets... Smith and Drew Sanders on the stop for the Rams. If you're Six Alan yards. East, if you're Alan East, you, you know you've got to play to at least try to put yourself in a position to get three points. If you're USV, USV, stay in your gaps and you know do what you do best, and that's just play fundamentally sound football. Try to keep them in bounds. That's good for USV. First down does stop the clock momentarily. Trey Hensley with the catch. Ball up to the Allen East 46-yard line. Connor Scott on the stop for the Rams. And they keep this one on the ground. Hole, left side. Hole picks up five. 
Clock down to 148 and ticking. Mustangs moving quickly with those two timeouts. Tommy Carl on the stop for the Rams. Hirschberger out to the right side. Pass complete to Keaton Lehman. And Lehman looks like he got out of bounds, I believe. Underwood and Thompson on the stop. No, I don't think he did get out of bounds. Nice job keeping him in bounds if you're the Rams. First down nonetheless, 120 on the clock. Hirschberger looking down the left side this time. It's caught and cutting back inside is Joe Hole. And Hole's got enough for the first down. The Mustangs air attack really starting to come together here late in the first half. Yeah, he's starting to find his way and find his receivers. Underwood on the stop. Three wide receivers split out to the right side. 104 and ticking. Hirschberger looking to pass. Plenty of time. Now rush. Oh, there's a hold. And yep. A two flags come out. And Hirschberger with a nice pickup. But ultimately it won't matter. Looks like he might get into the end zone. He's brought down just shy of the goal line. But again, those flags down back at the 35-yard line. Yeah, that's on his blind side. He's not going to see the hold. It was, I think it was against Blaine Castle. He was pressuring the quarterback from the Backside, and I think the left tackle got too much jersey. 47 on the clock. That's one of those plays where you wish your quarterback would have seen the flag come in so he could just go down and save a little bit of time. Instead, his legs probably lost them maybe 13 seconds or so. Nonetheless, a nice play by Hirschberger. It sure was. So this will be marked off from the 35-yard line, 10 yards backward. But I'm like you, you know, playing in a hot, conducive evening like this for first game of the year. Save that energy as much as possible. And USV is going to take a timeout with 47 seconds left, and we will take it with them. 7 nothing. still the score on WOSN. We'll be right back with more after this. First and 26 coming up for the Mustangs after the holding penalty drops them back. Passing attack has looked nice on this drive, but a lot of work to do for the Mustangs with 47 seconds left in this second quarter. They do have one timeout left. Let's see what the front four for the Rams can do here pressure-wise. Hirschberger out to the right side. That one caught oh, by Trey by Hensley. Underwood. But as you said... Underwood with a nice tackle and a timeout taken by the Mustangs with 38 seconds left. Hey, exciting news is coming to Allen East on September 13th. LifeWise Allen East will begin providing instruction in biblical character to kids in the first through third grades to sign your student up or to find out how you can get involved. Go to LifeWiseAcademy.org and search for Allen East. So a game that is sitting at 7 nothing. It's been a very competitive game. Both offenses is, have looked nice, but they've just fallen short and turned the ball over on downs a couple times. Uh, honestly, for 7 nothing, this has been incredibly entertaining. It is a very entertaining game. Uh, like you said, they're, both teams are moving the football, but gee, kudos to both teams defensively for making plays and making stops. And, you know, we got a lot of football left. Let's, let's wait until this sun... Another 10 minutes gets underneath here. We're going to have a heck of a second half. Second down, 24. No one in the backfield for Hirschberger. Three wide receivers split out to his left. And again, he's got some time. Now he's forced out of the pocket. Still looking, now throws, and that one incomplete. Good job with the front four of the Rams putting pressure on Hirschberger. Threw it a little bit behind Caleb Hopkins. When you got those two big fellas chasing after you. Put a little bit of rush into it. He didn't get his feet set. A little update on the timeout situation. I misspoke earlier. Both teams now with one timeout left. Three wide receivers out to the left side. Jack Hole back into the backfield. And another, another flag comes uh, yeah. down as Hirschberger... Takes off up the right side, shoved out of bounds. As the sun 
goes behind some clouds. We certainly appreciate Hallelujah. that. <laughs> yes. A lot of credit. If you, you know, if you're the defensive line coach for USV, you've got to appreciate the effort your front four is giving right now. They're controlling the line of scrimmage and putting tremendous pressure on Hershberger, especially when he's dropping back trying to find receivers. So that one marked off from the USV 45, 10 yards, puts the ball obviously on the Allen East 45 with 24 seconds to go. It's third down. When you get that kind of pressure from your front four, it makes it a little bit easier for your middle linebacker. Third and 36 with 24 seconds on the clock. Hirschberger, time to pass, throwing deep down the left side. His man's behind the defense, but the throw just out of reach of Caleb Hopkins and a long fourth down coming up with 17 on the clock. Yeah, that's one of those where uh, the coaches are from USV is holding your breath right there because you almost have to put yourself in a contained defense there and you cannot let a receiver get behind you. So Allen East will likely punt here with 17 seconds left. Their kicker, Braylon Kennedy, onto the field. This fourth and 36, back to return is Jason Helton, standing at about his 24 yard line. Kennedy takes the snap. And that kick is low, bounces at the 36 yard line, takes a nice bounce down to the 22 and nine seconds on the clock before halftime. USV, we haven't seen many deep pass attempts today. We'll have to see what they decide to do. Either way, you've got to be pleased going in. If you're a Rammy at seven to nothing, Allen East, you know, clean a few things up. Both coaches, you know, they got eyes in the sky. That's why you have assistant coaches. There are going to be some adjustments made at halftime. Looks like they're just going to take a knee here. And they will, and both teams will head to the locker room with Allen East on top seven. To zero. It's opening night of high school football on WOSN. We'll be back with the second half after this. Welcome back to Upper Scioto Valley High School for the start of the second half. The Rams trailing the visiting Allen East Mustangs 7 0. Now, Darren, the Mustangs scored on their very first drive, and we haven't seen a score since. But I'll tell you what, both of these teams have moved the ball well. They just haven't finished the job. Oh, you know, I'd like to be a fly on the wall in both both locker rooms and, and see what their coaching staffs were talking about on the adjustments they're going to make here in the second half. No jokes aside, we can actually see now the sun is starting to subside That's in right. the distance. So now we can see both teams without a glare. and. But it was a heck of a first half. It's going to be a very entertaining uh, second half here, too. Looking forward to it. Alex Sanders will kick the ball off to start the half. First kickoff we've seen since the opening. And he's just going to kick this one out oh, of that, bounds. Yep, that one, that one did not stay in play. He was just trying to kick that into the soft spot of the return team and hope that his team could run on the end of it because, of course, it's a live ball as soon as it Hits the ground, but instead it'll be a penalty. See what Alan East decides to do. Sometimes you see the coach say, back it up and kick again. Sometimes they take the penalty yards. I'm just curious the adjustments that Alan East made of, of, on the offensive line because the front four of Upper Soda Valley from that a quarter and a half, they dominated the line of scrimmage. And that makes the job so much easier on the linebackers when your front four can put pressure on the quarterback. So the mark off five yards from where the ball went out, went out at the 36 yard line. So Alan East will start this drive on the 41. Hirschberger goes back to work. Alan East really started to pass the ball well toward the end 
of the half, but they keep it on the ground to start, and it's a nice run for Jack Hole as he gets up the field for a first down and into Ram territory go the Mustangs. Yeah, I think uh, Mr. Underwood possibly could have saved a touchdown right there. Good job getting him below the knees and getting him to the ground. Ball up to the 47. Hole's gonna carry this one again. He bounces off one tackler, bounces off another, and picks up positive yardage. Well done there by Mr. Hole as he didn't have any room but made no, something they, they out they had him in the backfield, didn't they? They, they strung it out and the, the five yards he got, he got on his own where he was pushed out of bounds by Alex Sanders. Pickup of four yards, maybe five. We'll call it second and five as Hershberger throws out to the left. That one's caught. That's Joe Hole, and he's got a first down. Joe and Jack have been very, very big for this Mustang offense today. Underwood, I think, pushed him out of bounds. Ball up to the 32. First down, three wide receivers split out to the right side. They shift just a bit to get more space as Hershberger takes the snap. He looks to pass and he goes right back to hole. He catches it and he's over the middle for a nice pickup. He gets about seven yards, maybe eight. Real close to a pick play right there by Allen East. Good execution, good pitch and catch. Hershberger out to the right side. A flag comes in, looks like a hold as Hershberger oh, up boy. the right. He's going to prance into the end zone. Has no idea that there's a flag either. It's the second time we've seen him go for uh -huh. a lot of yards yeah, on it's the coming ground. From the, it's back. coming from the back side. The referees will sort this out, flag down at the 27-yard line. Yeah, his blind side's where these are coming from. Looks like an illegal shift. Flag did come out awfully early. See here, referee hasn't made an official call. And that yep. is indeed the call. Somebody was moving when they weren't supposed to be, huh? That ends up being a five yard penalty from the spot. They'll redo second down this time from seven yards out. Yeah, cause that's about, it saves about 12 yards if it had been a hold. Hole shifts over to the left side. Hirschberger going to hand it off to Hole. Hole down the right, and he's still on his feet. Finally goes down after a pickup of five. And a third and three coming up. Looks like Castle. And Drew Sanders on the stop. Putting Allen East in what, third and three predicament here? Hirschberger rolling to his right. Wants to pass on third down. Gets it up in the air, and it is incomplete and great coverage downfield as no flag comes out. Well done by the USV defense. I believe it's Underwood that's, on the defense. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. And it is. A flag is down, though, back at the 25. Yeah, Maddox did a really good job getting his hands up, keeping his hands away from the... Receiver's body. The Mustangs called for a hold this time. And it will move back to the 35. They'll redo third down. So now we're looking at third down and 13. Yeah, these front three and front four that USV's rushing is causing problems for Allen East. Hirschberger now alone in the backfield. Three wide receivers out to his right side. Hirschberger. Runs out of the pocket, still looking, has plenty of time, had a man open, doesn't find him, and he's brought down after a gain of five. Tell you what, he had Bryce Avery sitting down in the soft spot in the defensive backfield. I was just watching the, the job USV did containing the football from the linebacker's position, and, you know, Alex stayed home right there, Sanders, and made a, a big stop right there. Hershberger was trying to turn the corner, and trying to break free. And with a fourth and nine looming, Allen East will take a timeout to talk things over. We'll take a break, fourth and 10, coming up after this on WOSN.
Fourth and nine coming up for the Allen East Mustangs. After their first time out of the half, Hirschberger with three wide receivers split out to the left side. Jack Hole to the right. Hirschberger steps up in the pocket. Nowhere to go. Stays on his feet, but he will not oh, get enough. And there's Mr. First Smith. First down and a turnover on downs. Mr. Smith decided to do this take and say, whoop, you're not going anywhere and picked him up. So once again, we see a turnover on downs. We've only seen one punt in this game. Otherwise, it's just been turnover on down. And now USV will take over. So USV and Maddox Underwood back to work. Under center, two backs in the backfield. Man in motion. We'll start this with Alex Sanders, who's worked very hard tonight, and he's met at the line of scrimmage and brought down for no gain. Joseph Hole stepping up. No gain on the play, second and 10. He held up Mr. Sanders and allowed the gang tackle to come from numerous Mustangs there. Like you said, no gain. And if you're just joining us, uh, USB, a team that likes to eat up the clock, play clock down to 12 before they even break the huddle. Sanders deep in the backfield. And they'll pitch this out to the right side. Sanders met again at the line of scrimmage, falls forward for maybe a yard, but a third and nine coming up. That Allen East defense doing a nice job to start this drive. Yeah, B Boston Culberson right there eluded his defender, shedded the block, and stepped up into to the hole there in his gap and brought down Mr. Sanders on that quick pitch. So the third and nine for a team that doesn't pass the ball often. No, and Sanders or Underwood is very capable of doing that, but you know do what you do best and that's run the football and we'll see we're, we're seeing right here if Alan East is making some adjustments that appear in their they're just stuff in the box right now with eight nine guys Underwood will look to pass and throws this one over the head of Sanders now, if he would have hit Sanders he would have been probably yeah, up to the 50 got, before he'd he'd he got, got the first down. yeah he'd have got the first down there and I know Maddox is frustrated right there you know, you give him a couple weeks and a couple more weeks of practice here, make that play four out of five times. So Sanders will go back to punt. Standing at his own 22-yard line. Good snap. Kick is away down the right side, and this one will go out of bounds. From my angle, looked like around the 45. We'll see what... The referees have to say about that as Allen East will take over. Catch an exclusive broadcast of the Allen County Fair Band Show on WOSN Tuesday at 8 p.m. or Saturday, August 27th at 10 p.m. on WTLW. Now, Gil, I know you were running around getting some eats and drinks before the second half started, but I caught the bands and they did a phenomenal job. Shout out to Alan East, shout out to USV and their band programs putting on a nice show at halftime. Yeah, and the kids have put just as much time in, you know, with the band and the cheerleaders and everything prior to, to school starting. So yeah, kudos to them as well as the football kids. You know, fall is upon us. It doesn't feel like it weather-wise yet, but yeah, it's, it's definitely fall time and fall sports season as well as Allen County Fair, and then what? Two weeks after that, Hardin County Fair. There so you go. A lot of kids are gonna be involved in activities with 4-H and FFA. So officially this one down, or out of bounds at the 46 yard line of the Mustangs as Hirschberger lines up in the shotgun once again. Hole lined up behind him, shifts over to the right side, and Hirschberger's gonna look to throw. Hirschberger with some time. Forced out of the pocket, now throws, and it's caught. And still on his feet, 
is the wide receiver, Keaton Lehman, and he has enough for the first down. Yeah, he broke away from Helton initially, ran out of bounds by Underwood and Thompson. Up to the USV 40-yard line go the Mustangs, first and 10. Eight minutes to play in the third quarter. They gave Hirschberger just enough time to complete that pass. Keep it on the ground with Hole. He's met in the backfield, tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but ultimately brought down for a yard loss. Yeah, I think Smith got a paw on him and got a hold of the jersey and slowed him down and let his teammates clean up the play. Second and 11 here for the Mustangs. Hirschberger with three wide receivers to his left side. They're going to try a screen. Yeah, there's your screen you were calling a little bit ago. And Hole has plenty of space up the right side. A big pickup down to the 13-yard line. And we saw USV get into the backfield on passing plays over and over and over again. You thought it was just a matter of time before Alan East just dropped one in for a screen and went for plenty. Well, they read the pressure there, and Upper's done a really good job of playing that pressure, and Drew Sanders got into the backfield, but it was designed and properly executed, and look at the result. Got a and flag down flag on this one. Out. That one was an easy call. You could see mm -hmm. the jersey almost rip. So the flag down, it will negate the rush. The flag is at the, it looks like the 16-yard line, maybe the 17. Yeah, that's big because that's going to be 15 from the spot, I believe. Drop them back. It'll be a 10-yard penalty. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, it's 10 from the spot, isn't it? It's week one, buddy. Yep, it's week one. First down, 21 to go. Hirschberger with hold of the right. Hirschberger fakes, looks deep, doesn't have anyone there. Now he's going to throw it to the end zone. A jump ball, it's caught. Is it in the end zone? Still no call, and there it is, a touchdown for the Mustangs. Yeah, they were looking as officials to see if he got his feet in bounds. 26-yard touchdown pass. Make it 13-0 with the PAT pending. Yeah, that's one of those we can see partner in the replay when we watch the, the replay of it. That's a heck of a pass, a nice catch. Catching it was Joe Hole, by the way, and that PAT is wide left, so the score will stay 13-0. 6.45 to play first quarter, or excuse me, third quarter, as we step aside. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Thirteen zero, the score here at USV High School. The visiting Allen East Mustangs on top after a 26-yard touchdown pass from Jacob Hirschberger to Joe Hole. Alan East, we said before the half, starting to put their passing game together, and they looked awfully good on that drive as that kick is grabbed at the 27-yard line. Scooped up there by Mason Thompson. So USV back onto the field. Evan Skilleter and Darren Gilbert with you tonight on opening Friday night football. Yeah, I'm not quite sure who's, who got down there, but that was a fundamental play by USV right there on that low line drive, did the proper thing and just dove on top of the football and protected it. Well, this is one that has got to go back to the playbook and do what they do best and attack that defense of Allen East. Drive starts from the 29 as Sanders breaks off a tackle, but he's met at the 30 yard line, brought down hard by Keaton Lehman. Yeah, big hit right there. Pickup of one yard, second down nine. Up 
Ball on the 30, nearing the halfway point of the third quarter. Underwood back under center. Takes a snap, he's gonna look to pass. Has Sanders and that one's caught. And Sanders jumps forward near the first down marker. Can't tell where he went out of bounds. Referees will tell us shortly. Yeah, he got it, looks like. Looks like he got enough, but got about two extra yards there. Great second effort. Extending the football and his body forward. Ball up to the 40-yard line. 5.43 and counting. Yeah, we got a lot of football left, partner. Quarter and a half. This is where the red light, the panic button doesn't come on. You just got to stay within your system. And this one to the up back this time. And that's Tommy Carl. Carl falls forward for two yards. Heck of an effort there by that young man. Looks like he's, he's cramping, cramping up. Yep. And you, yep. you see this just about every week one. Yep. Especially toward the second half as players start to get tired and winded. And You know, one thing USV has done a really good job of is penalties tonight. I, they have not None. committed a penalty. Allen East, you know, early in the season. Obviously, when you go against the front four that you're going against of USV, you're going to have some holds, but uh, those are all correctable. So it's for the most part, it's been a pretty clean plate game. And another counter play as they pit, fake the pitch out to the right side and hand it back to the left, and it goes for about a yard, a third down coming up. Six yards to go. Keaton Lehman stepping up, making the stop as well as Joe Holt. Again, USV taking their time, 24 on the play clock, 412 on the clock. <laughs> Running the play in is Connor Scott. Three backs in the backfield. Carl the up back once again. And this time, they'll look to pass. And the throw is low and incomplete, just off the turf. As Underwood underthrows his target. Yeah, tough break there, because he tried to throw it in the seam between the two defenders and got it there. Had to keep the thing low. Just bounced it off the turf. Fourth and six now, a big play coming up. Sanders looks like he might be punting this ball. Sanders at his 35, there's a man back to return. Have to be careful though, in a spot like this. Sanders will kick it away. This one's a nice spiraling kick. Sure Down was. to the 20 yard line, caught. And breaking a tackle is Joe Hole. And hole up the left side. He's brought down by the face mask, and you see two flags come in. Yep. And so a nice return will get 15 extra yards. And this drive will start ultimately in USV territory. Trying to see who that was. Inadvertently grabbed a face mask. It looked like Mason Thompson, possibly. It's on the far side. You know, I was going to say real quick, the... Snapper in the punter situation was the quarterback, actually, that's Maddox right. Underwood. And, you know, that's not an easy position to play, and you always want to put somebody in there that does the little things and does them fundamentally sound. And if it takes being the quarterback, because, you know, that position is really protected by rule now. You, can't, yes. you cannot hit a, a snapper, so why not put him there? Absolutely. So the ball up to the USV 47 yard line as Alan East takes over. Yeah, that's a big penalty. That give them quite a bit of yardage back. They almost got it back to the line of scrimmage. And there's a new quarterback in there, partner. Number 18, that's Trey Hensley back at the quarterback spot for the Mustangs. Hole with the carry. 
Pole shifts to the left. Sanders with the stop, Alex Sanders. And Hensley met in the backfield, pushed out of bounds. He loses about three yards back to the original line of scrimmage. Yes, yeah, somebody from the secondary stepped up, made a nice, nice play there. That far side's tough to see. Underwood, possibly. Can't see Hirschberger over on the sideline. Not too sure what's going on as Hensley lines up for this third and 10. Hole to his right. Hensley's going to look to pass. Hensley with some time, now throws, and it's complete but short of the first down. Nice catch there by Keaton Lehman. Nice little pitch and catch right there for a young man just coming into the game, throwing the football. Ball up to the 37 yard, 38 yard line rather. Fourth down and two, they keep it on the ground. Hole, finds a hole, has the first down and falls as he crosses the 30 yard line up to the 26, maybe the 25. Yeah, Helton got just enough of his lower body to knock him off balance where he hit the ground. It looks like uh, Hirschberger was getting stretched out over there on the sidelines, a little cramp action. He's jogging up and down the field, Hensley. which is good to see. Keeps it on the ground, hole down the right side, picks up a couple, two minutes and 13 seconds to go third quarter. I'm sure the Mustangs will be content to pick up three or four yards per down if they're able. Sanders and Smith on the stop for the Rams. Hensley, quick pass, that's caught. Nice job there by Keaton Lehman stretching out the arms to bring that one in. Brings up third down and two. Underwood on the stop. Hole shifts to the left. He'll get the carry up the left side. Still on his feet, sniffing the goal line and in for the score. The Mustangs with six more. Up 19 to zero with a PAT pending and a score without their starting quarterback. Yeah, and that, that, that was a series like we saw in the opening series where he just took the football on the left side of the uh, offensive line and pounded his way, and he happened to break one right there and ran to pay dirt. Mustangs with a touchdown in each quarter so far. Last PAT was no good as Braylon Kennedy lines this one up. That one is too low, and so the score remains 19 to zero with a minute and a half to play. In the third quarter, you're watching high school football on WOSN. Nineteen zero, the score here at USV. The Mustangs with a 16 yard touchdown run from Jack Hole, his second of the day. The Mustangs starting to pull away here in the second half. Kennedy will kick this one off the lefty. Nice end over end kick down to the five yard line. Sanders will return down the left. Sanders looking for space, can't find any, and goes down just shy of the 20, likely the 19 yard line. And USV's got some work to do, Darren Gilbert. Yes, they do. You know, what? You want to stay within the same game plan that you had. It's first game of the year. There's going to be mistakes made. It's a long season. Stay positive with the kids. Do your best to execute. Couldn't really get the tackle right there on the kickoff. There was a host of Allen East Mustangs on the stop there. Mr. Sanders on his return. Ball spotted at the 18-yard line. You know, a lot of these kids are playing both ways, both for Allen East and USV. We're going to have some tired kids tomorrow morning. And Jacob Hirschberger back into the game at the safety position as USV starts this drive with a run over the right side, and they pick up about three or four yards. Cade Wireman on the stop for the white and blue. Give him four yards officially, second and six coming up. Jason. 
31 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Three backs. Here's the snap. They give it to the up back, Carl. No, they don't. They give it to Sanders. He's trying to get the edge. He oh, does. big stiff arm, huh? Huge stiff arm into the face of Trey Hensley, the backup quarterback who we saw on the last drive. And ultimately, a nice pickup and a first down for the Rams. You think he saw a little bit of that last year from Big Brother? That's right. Hershberger on the stop along with, I believe... That was Nick Gooden, I believe. Or no, excuse me, Trey Hensley. The clock hits zero in the third quarter. 19 to nothing, Allen East leading USB as we step aside, fourth quarter coming up after this on WOSN. Welcome back for the start of the fourth quarter here at Upper Scioto Valley High School as the Allen East Mustangs lead 19-0 on opening night of high school football. Two touchdowns from Jack Hole on the ground, one for 16 yards, one for nine, and then a 26-yard touchdown pass to Joe Hole as USV starts this quarter with a run to the left side, and it looks like they'll lose a yard on first down. Yeah, I think he was initially hit, it appeared to be Braylon Kimmett. Jason Helton on the carry. Looks like he lost one on the carry, didn't he? They bounced him to the outside and he just couldn't get the corner turned. Secondary did a good job for Allen East coming up and pushing him out of bounds. Second and 11 coming up. Eight on the play clock. Pitch this one out to the right side as Sanders looks for the edge. Sanders follows his blockers and breaks free. How about that? A nice hard run from Alex Sanders who goes for a first down into Mustang territory. Sure did, broke three or four tackles in the, in the process just with a solid second effort. Finally brought down by Trey Hensley after a huge run by that junior. USV obviously hasn't scored tonight, but Alex Sanders has done a phenomenal job churning and burning for a nice chunk of yards. Yeah, I would like to see the post game stats just out of curiosity. High formation this time as Underwood looks to throw. Underwood with nowhere to go. He wanted to find Sanders. Now he throws and that one is... Well, we're looking for a call. Okay, we got incomplete from one of the referees. I think they were initially trying to set up the screen to Sanders. Good job by the right side of that defensive line, yes. recognizing that and staying sure with did. him. Yep, dropped back and took away the vision and covered him up. Brings up second down and 10. Two backs in the backfield. That's Carl right behind the quarterback. Sanders to the left as he goes to the right side. This time picks up a couple. And a pickup of two yards. So third down, eight. Brogan Bra Paxton on the stop for Allen East. Ten minutes, 15 seconds to go. Yeah, you got to believe this is a two-down territory if you're... USV. Now Helton and Carl in the backfield. Sanders lined up to the left. He's gonna go out for a pass as Underwood rolls left. Underwood's gonna keep it on the ground and a nice pickup to make fourth down more manageable. Sure as you did. said, no, no doubt they're gonna go for it here. 
Trying to see who pushed him out of bounds. Keaton Lehman pushed him out of bounds. Underwood got as much as he could. Again, they were trying to find Sanders out of the backfield, and Alan East did a good job covering him up. Fourth down three. And at some point, you'd think USB is going to pick up the pace a little bit, still play clock down to eight. You, know, you still have time, and you want to stick to the game plan, though. Sure. They're going to look to pass. Underwood out to the right, throws. Sanders with the catch, and enough for the first down. A big play by the USB oh, offense that, that's keeps the drive alive. That's a pretty pass and catch right there. That was a great job getting that left shoulder pointed towards the target and on the release. Throw it away from the defender where only Sanders could go get it, and it was almost like a rebound. I mean, he went and snatched that thing and tucked it away. Don't think I've ever had a football game with Coach Gilbert where he hasn't mentioned <laughs> basketball at some point or another. <laughs> well, I've watched a kid play yeah. on the hardwood, and when he gets his hands on it, there's not many that take it away from him. And he'll hand this to the right, Sanders. Imagine he's gassed at this point as we get later and later into this week one ball game. And Going to be a lot of bumps and bruises tomorrow morning, huh? Ice, bumps, and bruises. You can see him hobbling back as he picks up five yards on first down, make it four, second down six. You know, like we talked about in pregame, both these teams made the OHSA playoffs last year. Mm -hmm. USV won a playoff game, first in school history. Allen East, I believe, got to the regional final, if my memory serves me correctly. Eight minutes, 30 seconds. Play clock all the way down to one. They get the snap off. They're going to look to throw. Underwood has some space up the left side. It's closed off. And he picks up a couple as he's hit really hard right there by Keaton Lehman. Yeah, we'll see what the marker does. I think they pick up maybe two yards. You know, I don't think Alamee secondary get as much credit as they deserve. They fly to the football, and they are quick. They keep the ball right at the line of scrimmage, so we have a third and five coming up. I mean, they close on the football fast. It looked like... Underwood had plenty of space, but like you said, Allen East closing fast, a linebacker flying up, making him cut inside. Now they run this to the right side. Sanders with some space. Sanders with another first down. Good job by the front five, opening up the hole right there, letting him get through right between the, the guard and the center. And that offensive that line. That A-gap, absolutely. Consists of Abe Decker, Michael Ellerbrock, Drew Sanders, Kevin Smith, and Blaine Castle. Yeah, when you see kids grabbing their, you know, their waist and everything and hands on their hips, that's, that's a sign of fatigue starting to set in. And rightfully so. A lot of these kids are playing both ways. It's a hot evening. It's nice now. It's cooled way down. But start of the game, it was exceptionally warm. They'll run this to the right side. That's Helton on the carry. Jason Helton picks up about two yards, make it three. Yeah, Second and somebody seven come in there and got their pads on them and didn't get away. Was that Mr. Hole? Sure was. Joseph Hole stepping up, grappling, making the tackle right there. Nice one individual tackle. So Joe Hole, 5'6", 160-pound senior. Jack Hole, 5'8", 205-pound junior. And they'll go right up the middle, and they'll pick up a couple more. Good job by Underwood right there, keeping the football. I believe he was brought down shoestring by Braylon Kimmett. Called him quite a bit there in the first quarter. Is that a nice night for the white and blue? Like about what, third and four? 
Third and four indeed. Underwood takes the snap, hands it to Sanders, looking for the edge. Sanders up to the five yard line and that's enough for another first down. The Rams just chipping away, inching closer and closer to the goal line and now Sanders slow to get up. You can't blame him. Got a cramp too. And they're gonna blow this one dead with 541 to go. We'll step aside as well, 19-0, but USV knocking on the door. Five forty-one to play in the fourth quarter. Allen East leading 19-0, pitching the shutout, but USV five yards away from putting their first score on the board. Alex Sanders able to walk off, getting stretched out on the sideline as USV lines up this first and goal. Yeah, I'll bet he's chomping it a bit to get back in there too. And they're brought down in the backfield. I believe that was Ryan Roberts on the carry. Roberts into the game for Sanders and loses about two on the carry as Sanders hobbles back in. Oh yeah, by the way, young man, Mr. Freshman, you're going into the ball game. We're first, at the first down at the five yard line. And another Mustang down, getting stretched out. And we've talked about it already, but week one, this hot weather, bound to see multiple cramps. We have one right now with 517 to go. Be second and seven. Is that Mr. Hole? It is Joe Hole who's able to get up, run off. You can tell a little bit gingerly, but good to see him up. Heck of a job running with a cramp, huh? Second and seven. Second and seven. Tough bunch of kids out there mm -hmm. on both sides of the football tonight. The will to compete. Love to see it. Underwood back under center, takes the snap. He's gonna roll out to the left side. He's getting chased. He's still on his feet, nearing the goal line, but he's pushed out short. It'll be third down. It looks like he's out right at the one yard line. We'll wait for the official spot from the officials. Yeah, it's pure athleticism right there because Cade Wireman just took a little bit of a bad angle on Underwood and he was able to escape him and turn the corner. A little Russell Wilson-esque right there, huh? Turned the corner and got as much as he could. He's got to be close to the pylon. What is he, about two yards out? They got him down at the one. Okay. Let's see if they can't punch it in here. 4.56 on the clock. Underwood takes the snap, hands it off on the right side and into the end zone. And a well-earned touchdown for Alex Sanders as he gets the first touchdown of the year for USV and a PAT pending. Kicker, if they go for two here, looks like they're going to go for two. Play run in there by number eight, Connor Scott. Underwood will stay under center. He has Helton and Carl in the backfield. He's going to roll out, looking to pass. Might keep it on the ground. He does, and he reaches out for the goal line. So make it 19 to eight, USB on the board. We step aside, you're watching high school football on WOSN. Four fifty-five to go in the fourth quarter as Allen East leads 19 to eight. USB moments ago, getting their first score of the game on a one yard touchdown run from Alex Sanders. And now the Rams with some work to do. Yeah, it appears that Alan East may be having the all hands team in here. USB is lining up for the onside kick. Look to the left and that one on the ground and covered up nicely before it even gets 10 yards. Is that Trey Hensley? 
And it is indeed. Good call there, Darren Gilbert. The eyes haven't failed yet. <laughs> Every other part's starting to, but not the eyes, which is good. And they're going to mark him down right at midfield. So a first and 10 coming up for the Mustangs. USV with three timeouts left. Allen East with two. 4.52 on the clock. Mustangs have had a, a really balanced effort tonight. The passing game has really come alive here in the second half. Two rushing touchdowns for Jack Holt. The 26 yard touchdown pass to Joe Holt. The three scores for Allen East as they keep this one on the ground. And they can't bring Holt down, but he stopped. On forward progress, that gets him six yards up to the 44. Actually, I think that was Cade Wireman, the ball, hand, the ball carrier right there. Good shout. Jacob Hirschberger back in at quarterback as he took a series off to stretch out the calf. Now they'll give it to Mr. Hole. He tries oh, to get the edge, there. but he's brought down. Big play there, Lane Castle. First team Northwest Ohio and all mention or honorable mention all state last year. Blaine Castle drops him for a loss of two, so a third and six coming up as we near the four minute mark. Nice solid swim move. Got around the left tackle for the solo stop. Hirschberger looks to pass this time down the right side. He has a man, but overthrows him as it goes out of bounds. And a fourth down coming up. Yeah, if you're upper side of alley, you got to like that third and six and they're putting the football in the air. You're going to get the football back with your timeouts. Well, he takes just over a minute on that possession. So back to punt is Braden or Braylon Kennedy. This is a time where you don't want a silly penalty. Jason Helton back to return, standing at his own 14. Oh, go get it, go get it. And that went over the head of Kennedy, and he just oh, and falls, he just falls on, it. on it. So that's great for USV, not so good for Allen East. As Braylon Kennedy takes the safe route and dives on top. You know, I understand why he dove on the football. Your back's turned to the defense. You don't know if someone's right behind you. It's a tough play. Now you watch it back on tape and you might think, ah, I should have picked it up. I've but also seen punters try to kick the ball and end up getting tackled and the ball goes flying and the defense picks it up. So I see both sides of it there by that young man. Now USB in the shotgun for the first time as Underwood throws and it's too short of Sanders. It's the turf. Harmlessly and second and ten coming up for USB. 3.33 on the clock. Yeah, that's that's one where the sophomore's just got a gun sling it. He's got to get his feet set and just rip it. He short armed that one and it showed as it hit the turf. Put it where the defender can get it and rip it and put it in a position where your receiver can attempt to make a catch. Second and 10, they'll stay in the shotgun. Put three wide receivers out on the left side. All alone on the right is Connor Scott. Underwood, quick pass out to Sanders who turns to the outside and gets up the sideline nicely. And it looks like he stayed inbounds. So the clock continues to tick. Remember, three timeouts left for USB. Mason Thompson with a nice little block on the outside, allowing Sanders to turn the corner. It's a gain of six, third and four for the Rams. They'll split two wide receivers each direction this time as Underwood takes the snap. Plenty of time, great job by the offensive line, but Underwood can't find anyone. Now he throws. And this one's caught by Sanders on the right side. Up to the six or seven yard line go the Rams. And hey, they're making it interesting. Yeah, he got, he got a little bit more mustard on that one. And 
Good job pitching and catching right there. Uh, Sanders coming back and Underwood finding him down along the sideline. A lot of time left. Seven yards to go to the goal line. They're back under center. They're going to run this on the right. Sanders patiently waiting for a hole, and oh, he, he slips, Did he get in? and he's down at the he's one. He's short. And they're going to hurry back to the line of scrimmage, 2.14 on the clock. Underwood gets everyone set, takes the snap, hands it to Sanders, and he jumps forward for the USV score. Make it 19-14, another PAT pending. Yeah, I think you're going to see another two-point opportunity here. Chance to make it a three-point game, and still USV with those three timeouts left, Aaron. Yes. Yep. Another one-yard touchdown run. That's the second one for Sanders. Line up with those three backs in the backfield once again. Underwood under center. Snap, he's gonna keep the ball, looking for the edge, and he's wrapped up and brought down. Good job there by Bryce Avery. And the score stays 19 to 14 with 2.04 to go. This game far from over, Darren Gilbert. Oh yeah, it's, you know, this kickoff right here with 2.04 to go, uh, three timeouts left. You get a stop, you're gonna get the football back. You know, you just mentioned Bryce Avery. What a big play by the senior right there. Haven't called his name a whole lot tonight, but man, he stepped up. Because if he doesn't get Underwood, he's going to walk in for two. Three-point ball game makes it even more interesting, mm -hmm. but still plenty of time left. And we don't know, you know, extra point-wise what USB has because both sure. opportunities tonight, they have uh, chosen to go for two. Little game reset for you. As we said, 2.04 to go in the fourth quarter. It's 14 for USB, 19 for Allen East. Three timeouts left for the Rams, two for the Mustangs. We got touchdown runs for the Mustangs of nine yards and 16 yards, both by Jack Hole, and then a 26 yard touchdown pass from Jacob Hirschberger to Joe Hole. And then here in the fourth quarter, Alex Sanders with two one yard touchdown runs, about two and a half minutes apart. You got to think he's close to the 100 yard for the ball game, him and Hole both, I would think. And we'll see another onside kick, I imagine, but with those three timeouts, you kind of have a few options here. Alex yeah, the, last time, the, the last time it went to the left side. And Mr. Hensley stepped up, did a nice job recovering it, smothering it. Sanders sends this one over to the right this time, and it's grabbed by Caleb Hopkins. 6'2", senior. Yeah, he's one of those that was bobbled, and that second effort, he secured it, locked it up. And this ball will be spotted at the Allen East 49-yard line. 2.03 on the clock. As a matter of fact, they are just going to place it right at midfield on the left hash. Yeah, I'm not sure the official had picked the flag up. I don't know what their concern was there, but yeah, he did pick it up and waved it off. This is one of these where, unfortunately, Upper's going to have to take and get a stop and use their timeouts. Hole on the right side. Hirschberger looks to pass. He smartly keeps the ball on the ground with plenty of space in front of him. Hirschberger up the left side, gets a block. He's up the field and he stays on his feet. No, he steps out of bounds. But we do have three flags on the field. Uh, two flags and a beanbag, rather. So an illegal block. Yeah, I would love to see who it was that upper blitzed. He he was tracking him down and had him in his sights and just a quick glance by Hershberger. He seen it coming and stepped up and took off. Yeah, 
I mean, he was on a straight line to the quarterback right there. So it's still a first down as the 10 yards were marked off from the 26 yard line. What did you say was a block in the back? I didn't see it. It was. Okay. They keep it on the ground with hole oh and another boy. flag comes out. And Gilly, we still have no penalties on USV tonight. None? None. I, for some reason I was thinking one, but man, that's, that's, that's awesome. If there's one, it's still awesome, And you know awesome, what, right? the ones Allen East have are all correctable. You know, the sure. holdings are all, like I said, you're not going to play. My opinion, early on in the season, looking at U.S. Free's front four, I don't know if they're going to play against a better front four the rest of the season. Sure. And, you know, the other part of those penalties is that the clock stops both times. And so U.S. Free's still with those three timeouts. Now it is first down, so sure. Alanis can run four plays. Hirschberger, back to pass, but again, just keeping the ball on the ground, spending a lot of time on his feet which means a lot of time coming off the clock as he holds on to the football and picks up about 14 yards. Yeah, the big fellas are huffing and puffing right now for USV. They just USV. can't, they can't get him, they can't run him down. USV will take that timeout with 1.20 to go. And it'll be a second and eight for the Mustangs when we return. 1.20 on the clock, 19.14. Allen East on top. TV44 is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year, and WOSN is a part of that celebration. Would you donate $40 as a thank you for 40 years of local broadcasting in this region? Donate online at WTLW.com slash donate, or call 419-339-4444. Back to the ground go the Mustangs, but the ball comes out. There, there's, there's the opportunity that USV wanted. Big pop there by Smith. Ball popped free. And USV with a big chance. All they need to do is punch the ball into the end zone and they take the lead. They've got a minute and 14 seconds and two timeouts to play with. Yes, sir, Mr. Smith, the first team all Northwest Ohio, honorable mention all stater. Wrestle down Mr. Ho and the ball popped loose and USV is gonna get this football back with 1.14 to go. More Underwood importantly, under two center. timeouts. Underwood takes the snap. They're going to run a reverse here as Sanders gives it right back to Underwood. He throws deep. Oh, he He's got there. Sanders, but it's intercepted by Hensley. A flag down on the play. Let's go! And we'll have to see what the penalty is. If it's against the Mustangs, the play will not count. If it's against USV, the Mustangs can decline. Remember, still two timeouts for USV, and it is against the Rams. The Mustangs will decline and get the ball back as we wait for the yeah, he official was, call. Yeah, he was there. There's, there's no question about that. And it's an illegal man downfield, a risk you run when you run a couple reverses sure. and throw a pass. Allen East will decline. They'll have the ball back. Two timeouts for USV. Ball and that's exactly why, you know, you, you practice these situations in practice. It's just like on the basketball court. Finally, you, you run a last second play over and over again, and USV tried it and just come up a little bit short. Hirschberger takes the snap, keeps it on the ground, stays on his feet, a first down up to the 25-yard line. Still waiting on USV to see if they'll take that timeout. You imagine they will, and... They do with 57 seconds remaining. There's no admission fee to watch this game, but there is a fee for TV44 to broadcast it for you. Say thanks to viewer-supported TV44 by sending them a financial gift. TV44 relies on the donations of viewers to enable airing of this game and all other locally produced programs. Donate now by visiting WTLW.com and click the donate button. Gilly, there aren't many areas well, we'll say in the state of Ohio, but also in this entire country that broadcast high school sports as in-depth as WOSN. Every time I go somewhere and talk to people about what I do and 
who I get to broadcast for, they're jealous. Well, they, it just keeps expanding. You know, it's in northwest Ohio now. You go up through, what, Defiance, Napoleon area. Uh, up in Toledo the, land now. Uh, Toledo land, and then you go over in Indiana. I mean, we don't go over there and broadcast, but I think the towers yep. go that far now. So it's awesome where, where WTLW and WOSN is gone and, and will continue to grow and blossom. 40 years of broadcasting. Hirschberger takes the snap, running out to his left side. Hirschberger up the left and puts the icing on the cake as he crosses the goal line for the score. Jacob Hirschberger from 24 yards out. And a big play for the senior quarterback. You want to get it in the hands of your, be you know, your best athlete, your best player, and... We talked in pregame, his ability to run the football as well as manage the offense, and he was not going to turn that football over right there. 49 seconds on the clock. Hirschberger now with a 26-yard touchdown pass and a 24-yard touchdown run. He takes the snap. He keeps the ball, patiently waits for the hole, and gets in for two. So make it 27 to 14 with 49 seconds to go. We'll step aside. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Twenty-four yard touchdown run for Jacob Hirschberger, the senior quarterback for Allen East. And you pick the cliche, nail in the coffin, icing on the cake, doesn't matter. Well he was he was Allen he was Allen East offense that possession. He was bound determined that football was going to stay in his hands and he was not going to turn the thing over. So the Mustangs will kick this one away. One timeout remaining for USV. Kennedy puts a boot into this one. Line drive, kick. Dropped for a second but picked up. And a nice return looming. That's Maddox Underwood staying on his feet, getting up the field up to the 35. 37 on the clock. Nice run by that young man. And there is a flag down on the sideline. Not sure you can see it, but it's in the midst of the players on the sideline. We'll see what the call is. Personal foul. And it's another penalty against Allen East, so 15 more yards. For USV, keeping it mildly interesting here in the final 37 seconds. Nice kick return there by the sophomore quarterback, DB. So let's see where the ball ends up. It goes into Mustang territory up to the 49-yard line. Starters stay in. Underwood will be in the shotgun with three wide receivers split out to his left side. One down here on the near side. That's Helton. Underwood looking to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Breaks free. Still looking. Now a flag comes in. Man, we might have a penalty against USV. A rare occurrence. Tonight. I don't know if it's a lineman downfield or a hold. Holding. It is holding against the Rams with... 26 seconds on the clock. What a game we had for you tonight. It looked like it might get out of hand in the third quarter as Allen East went up 19-0, but back-to-back -to -back touchdowns about two minutes apart for Mr. Alex Sanders. Got USV right back into it. Yeah, you looking at Allen East defensively, you really got to love their linebackers, mm -hmm. how they close. In a, you know, their secondary, just how quick they are to the ball. And their interior line is going to get better and better and better as the season progresses. So bright, bright future for both these teams the rest of the season. They're going to win a lot of football games. Back to the air. This one thrown out to the right side. Sanders with the catch. Stays in bounds. And will USV burn that last time out? Clock continues to tick. It looks like... They will not. Kimmett on the stop for Allen East. And we'll see what happens here, but it looks like your final score tonight will be 27 to 14. The Allen East Mustangs winning the opener. 
after a great performance from Jacob Hirschberger as well as Jack Hole, who scored two touchdowns on the ground. And Darren Gilbert, we had a nice one on opening night. Oh, unbelievable. We knew coming in, you know, what both teams were capable of doing. And if you come to this game, you got your money's worth. You know, the thing is, the, the coaches, when they go back and watch these films, they, they're going to take a lot of good things from this game, both offensively and defensively. And it's going to be such a positive environment. I know, you know, these kids, these home kids are walking off with an L tonight, but... I think after they they watch the films and discuss things and clean things up, uh, they can rebuild on that. That's the nice thing about athletics. They turn around and they play next Friday night. Absolutely. And congratulations, a- Dallin East, on a, on a fine performance by them. And their future is very bright this season, too. Absolutely. I want to thank the USV Athletic Department for their hospitality tonight, the great press box. And- Great stadium here. I want to thank you, as always, the viewer, for tuning in to High School Football on WOSN. Your final score one more time from USV, Italian East 27, USV 14 for Darren Gilbert. I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. Have a great night, and God bless.